RMIT is a global university of design, technology and enterprise. We run three campuses here in Australia, as well as two smaller sites, two campuses in Vietnam and an industry engagement centre in Spain. Sustainability is core to what we do here at the university. We are beginning to build this into all aspects of our learning, teaching and operations. Siemens were engaged by RMIT to look at ways to reduce the carbon footprint, uh, reduce utility consumptions on site, so that's electricity, natural gas and water, through optimising the current infrastructure, creating the campus of the future. The Sustainable Urban Precincts Program, uh, also called the SUP at RMIT, is a significant investment that RMIT have made in the sustainability of our campus and also the asset management practices uh, in terms of infrastructure upgrades to really bring our campus into an industry leading position. In total the program which covers our three main Melbourne campuses uh, included an investment of, of about 128 million dollars and the Siemens uh, delivery which occurred on the city campus uh, took up a significant portion of that. What Siemens looked at doing was putting a decentralised energy system on site. The major success was the installation of solutions such as the generation plant you see over there. In the last 12 months that used to be a empty roof space. All the infrastructure you can see has been put up and installed as part of the project and this was done in a living breathing campus that encompassed working with the university as well as City Power, who's the electricity distributor through the city. We've incorporated all of the city connection points to one main connection point with the grid uh, through a new high voltage ring main infrastructure upgrade, which has then enabled all of our generation assets on the campus to feed back into that network and supply all buildings as opposed to being deployed on you know, unique buildings individually. We put in a Siemens Dezigo BMS system to control the entire campus acting as the backbone and the brains behind all the optimization. We also looked at redevelopment of their chilled water systems, and their heating hot water systems with regards to their boilers redesigning RMIT's lighting infrastructure, looking at LED solutions throughout the campus. We've actually got a cogeneration system which generates electricity but also heat. Electricity that's generated as a waste heat stream that under normal process is exhausted to atmosphere. Under our process we capture that waste heat, we turn that into hot water, that hot water then heats our entire campus through our reticulation networks that have been uh, installed and, and distributed across all of the buildings. Here on the city campus, Siemens have guaranteed a number of savings through the SUP program. Uh, this is up to 16,500 tonnes of emissions, uh, up to 18 million kilowatt hours worth of electrical savings, and 37 million litres of water. A program like SUP uh, has really helped improve the university's systems and processes, uh, allowing us to make better informed decisions when it comes to asset management and our plans going forward. Uh, RMIT and Siemens under this partnership are, are pioneers and it's been a challenging partnership at times because we are really leading in the space. But at the end of the day, we've delivered a real tangible outcome that can be built upon across the industry and built upon by RMIT as we move forward in our energy efforts.